It's hell on earth as Hurricane Ian slams into Florida. Hurricane Ian did tremendous damage. Many reporters took risks to cover it well. But a lot of what the media and politicians told us about hurricanes was just wrong. The federal government will cover 100 percent of the cost. Myth one, a big storm requires big government. FEMA's already distributed $40 million in direct assistance to survivors. Politicians eagerly shower money on disaster areas. And central planners like this college professor say government must take control. You need some sort of uh, group of people to figure out the process by which these communities are going to rebuild. But that's not true. During Hurricane Katrina, Matt Mayer, working for Homeland Security, saw that the federal government was just too bureaucratic to be much help. Who's going to do it if not the government? States, locals, communities, neighbors. Are they capable? Of course they're capable. They've been doing it for 200 years. After a disaster, charities usually help more than government. Even NBC's anchors noticed it after a tornado. There's FEMA, and then there's the faith-based FEMA. If you're waiting for the government, you're going to yeah. be in for an awful long wait. FEMA fails because, as with all government bureaucracies, there's no incentive to spend efficiently. Hundreds of FEMA trailers bought with your tax dollars are sitting empty, never used. Charities don't waste money like that, and they help people quickly. Tsunamis, earthquakes, hurricanes, anytime there's a storm, anytime there's any kind of dis destruction anywhere, we're on it uh, immediately. They cleaned it up and fixed it up, got us in a home, and they've done that for our whole neighborhood. Communities all across America every day come together and figure out how to meet the needs of, the, of their neighbors. It's called being an American. Myth two, we need government to stop greedy businesses from raising prices. Price gouging, officials call it. It's an issue every hurricane season because after storms, some merchants raise prices. They're just taking advantage of us. They're taking advantage of making money, extra money, because there's a hurricane coming. So even Republican politicians tell businesses. You cannot substantially raise prices, whether it's a hotel room, fuel, commodities such as water, generators. That's what these bad people are doing. Bad people? No. When there are storms, consumers need specific supplies. Hot items like generators, batteries, and sandbags are flying off the shelves. Definitely water. Literally, as soon as we walked in the store, it's just gone. Why is it totally gone? Well, think about it. If stores don't raise prices, we consumers stock up on everything we might need. So only the first customers get what they want. Batteries, propane, um, tarps, all the generators are gone. But if the store could raise prices for items in demand, fewer people would hoard. Supplies running low. And more customers would get what they need. Anti-gouging rules even punish some good people who risk their safety to bring us what we need. After Hurricane Katrina, John Shepperson heard that people in Mississippi desperately needed things. So John left the safety of his home bought 19 generators, put them in a rented U-Haul, and drove it 600 miles to a town that had no electricity. John offered to sell his generators for twice what he paid for them. People were excited. They, we had a product they needed. But Mississippi police wouldn't allow John to sell them. They called that price gouging. They confiscated his generators and locked John up in this jail. They called him a criminal for potentially saving lives. Actually, the price gougers are the moral ones. These high school students who learn economics through Stossel in the Classroom videos, they have more wisdom than most adults. When people hear price gouging, they think, oh, gouging this awful thing that you think of, but it really is kind of just another name for supply and demand. Politicians and the media rarely understand economics. They have trouble with science, too. Storms get stronger and more destructive. Myth number three is that because of climate change, hurricanes are getting worse. It is feeding these beasts. It's getting stronger and stronger. The winds are getting harder and harder. No, they aren't. You can take a look at all the hurricanes that around the planet. We can see them since 1970 because we got global satellite coverage. Right. And we can measure their power. And we can add up their power. And there is no significant increase whatsoever. 
There may be, someday, but so far the U.S. government says there's no strong evidence of increasing trends in major hurricanes. But the media keep claiming it is clearly the case that climate change is making storms like this one stronger. The people ranting about the climate crisis making storms worse. Linked to human-caused climate change. They believe they're doing the right thing. But just because you think you're helping doesn't mean you are. Which brings us to our last destructive myth. America must have government flood insurance because private insurance is too expensive. But government insurance just encourages people to build in flood zones. And that's unfair to taxpayers. Yes, some foolish people, like me, want a house near an ocean. Years ago, I built this one. That's the younger me there. It was stupid to build next to an ocean. The high cost of insurance would have stopped me. But then I discovered that government offers affordable insurance. They even advertise it. Once upon a time, there was a nice house that lived with a family. One day, it started to rain and rain. But federal flood insurance can't stop the floods. One day, a storm swept away my first floor. Then the ocean took my whole house. I lost my house. But thanks to government guarantees, I didn't lose money. I won't do it again. But others will. It's another example of how government does harm in the name of doing good. Until we learn the truth about storms, we'll keep making the same costly mistakes again and again. Hope you learned something from these videos. If you like them, please subscribe to make sure you get the next one.